Hello, Julie Gorsi coming to you today with my monthly market wrap. Well, a happy new financial year to you all. For some, it's been a tough 12 months with constant interest rate rises. Many mortgage holders are coming off historically low interest rates onto the new cash rate, which is putting pressure on households. It's no fun getting a letter from your bank every month advising of your new repayment. End of financial year is a great time to take stock and look at the numbers, as the numbers don't lie and tell the real story about what the real estate market is doing. There is much speculation about how much the market has dropped and if at all. Let's take a look at the facts for the suburbs that we cover. All statistics that I share with you today have been sourced from CoreLogic data. 2023 is the first time that property prices have moved in a downward direction since 2019. For Colborough Beach, the median house price went down 4.6% in 2019. Prices then increased 12% in 2022 and 42.7% bringing the median house price to almost 908,000 in 2021, the year of the COVID boom. In 22, we saw more price growth, another 20.1% rise, taking the median house price to just shy of $1.1 million. 2023, which will be known the year the market corrected, the median house price for Colborough Beach dropped 18.3% so far for 2023, bringing it back to 890,000. For Kalala Beach, the last time the market moved downwards was 2018. It dropped 16.2% and then increased 4.9% in 2019, with the median house price at that point sitting at 640,000. In 2020, prices rose 14.1%, then 42.1% in 21, and another 43.1% in 22, taking the median house price for Kalala Beach at that point to $1.485 million. That's over 40% price growth in 24 months. The market has now dropped 25.9% in 23, bringing the median house price back to $1.1 million. Kalala Bay experienced a 5.2% drop in prices back in 2019, with the median house price sitting just over 615,000. Prices rose 15.9% in 2020, then another 20.4% in the boom year of 2021, bringing the median house price to 860,000. 2022, another increase of 14.9% and a median house price at that point just shy of $1 million. So far for Kalala Bay in 2023, prices have dropped 15%, now a median house price sitting at 840,000. Now, Kararong, what can I say? I've never seen the market like this. It's almost like the market has come to a complete standstill. There isn't much recent data to work from with only two sales taking place in the last financial year. And the Kararong market has recorded a drop at this point of 43.3%. With that said, the Kararong market experienced the highest price growth in the boom year with an increase in prices of 53.9%, taking the median house price to $1.15 million in 2021, then another 17% rise in 2022. The median house price, according to CoreLogic data, currently sits at 762,500. However, this number is a bit off due to the lack of sales. Sussex Inlet has adjusted just 5.1% with almost 17% price growth in 2021, another 33.5% in 2022. The Sussex Inlet market is holding strong with only a 5.1% drop in the median house price, which currently sits just under 750,000. We're starting to see stock free up. More listings are hitting the market. I think people have realised that the market is what it is. We aren't expecting prices to rapidly grow anytime soon and people are just getting on with their plans to move. The same can be said for buyers. We've noticed an uptick in buyer activity over the last months, possibly a flow on from the Sydney market kicking back in and recording some price growth. With so much movement 
to prices over the last three years, now is a great time to get your property appraised. We'd love to come out, have a look at your home and provide you with a comprehensive report specific to your property and give you our opinion on the current market value. Well, that's it from me. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, we would love to hear from you. See you next month.